How's it going guys? It's been a really long time. Um, I've been away, you know, that you got family and you got other things going on, work, and you don't really have a lot of time to do all kinds of stuff. Um, but uh, I've been, uh, since I've been away, I've been, uh, I'm currently um, um, a new knife maker. Um, so that's been taking up most of my time now. Um, so I figured I'd go ahead and share with you guys that that's... Uh, basically what this channel is going to be about and maybe some outdoor videos and whatnot so I'm going to go ahead and start showing you guys uh, what uh, what I've been working on um, I'm going to put my link to uh, my uh, YouTube uh, excuse me to my um, uh, Instagram where you can see everything that I'm updating on and um, and see what's going on with that I also will have a uh, Etsy store that I'm Debating on whether or not I'm going to be working through that or not. Um, so let's go ahead and show you what uh, I've been working on here. Um, so uh, this model um, is called the uh, Chaparral. Chaparral is a region in California of, um, of uh, just uh, native uh, plants and uh, um, and trees it's a uh, I don't know the, the current or correct term you would call it. it's just a um, a type of uh, region that has certain um, aspects like there's mountainous regions um, there's desert regions and whatnot so this um, our my region where I'm at is called uh, chaparral uh, region um, so we have uh, eight ounce uh, veg tan uh, leather here um, with uh, copper copper rivets doesn't seem like I'm focusing here for some reason don't know why this is just not focusing um, sinew stitched uh, black black leather here um, I tried to make this. Uh, this is a smaller knife, so this is something you could carry with you all the time. There we go. I'm starting to kind of focus a little bit. I don't know. So a lot of people lately, it seems like people are into more of a smaller knives now. So uh, that's what I've been kind of making. I do make uh, full size knives and stuff, and I do Kydex also. Uh, but I do enjoy doing leather a little bit more. So there's the sheath. Uh, the sheath is also um, medium waxed. I medium waxed it. I also do heavy duty waxing, uh, which is heavy duty hot bees waxed, which makes the uh, sheath extremely more durable and will hold its shape. <clears throat> so here, let's show you that. And then there's an exposed pommel. With some file work on there. And this is black. Uh, my card I have on here. So. Uh, this is um, convex ground. This is 3V steel um, brass uh, pins and tubes. Here's my logo there. Just ZG knives, that's all I have. And the uh, convex ground. So it's a nice little knife. 330 seconds. Uh, 3V, like I said. Um, so it's a nice little small uh, carry knife that you can carry with you everywhere. It's really nice and light and everything. And um, I mostly do candy grinds, but uh, this person that uh, contacted me wanted um, Convex grind. So I did that, but he decided that uh, he didn't want the uh, he didn't want the knife. So this one is available. I'll show you how sharp it is. I got a piece of paper around here somewhere. Let's see here. She's nice and sharp. 
Its geometry is good. And it has 90 degree spine also. So. And curl's good. It's just a simple bush knife you could take with you anywhere. So, this is my Chaparral model. And uh, I do. I don't have any um, any other current knives to show you because they are all sold. But I will attach photos at the end of this video so you can see. See how I got that click in there too. So um, um, I will attach photos, like I said, to the end of this video, and I can show you what else I got. I also do have a. Um, blade that is heat treated that I have not finished yet. This is my but uh, I, uh, I call it the uh, California bush tool. It has a um, bush tool type shape. It's a little different. Um, it's candy grind. This one is A2. So this one is not finished. The grind uh, finish is not done yet. Uh, um, Surface has not been ground. Does have a welded pommel. And um, this one is one eighth thick. So this is going to be my uh, bush tool. I, will, I have photos of one that I had finished and I will attach those at the end. It seems like it's just not focusing. I don't know what the deal is. So this one will be finished. And I also, there's not very many people that are doing this sheath. <clears throat> so this is a uh, Skookum style sheath. This is leather, leather Skookum sheath. This is a neck carry. Um, this one is not finished. It needs to be, uh, uh, it needs to have the knife, uh, which will be uh, this one. It needs to be fit to the knife. And then it needs to be hot waxed. But other than that, it is finished. So here you can see that I put these on here because the original Skookum Bush tool did not have these. This is going to reinforce that hole so it doesn't stretch out any farther. And this is, no, it's hard to tell, but it is not black. It is a reddish mahogany. So this is going to be my uh, bush tool sheath that I've been making. That I'm going to put my California bush tools in. So it's all, it's pretty pretty similar, and uh, there's not a lot of people making these because I don't know if people don't know how or or what, but um, I kind of figured out how to make them because I've always liked this sheath, very nice sheath. So I will be making these and some other models. So please follow my Instagram, um, give me a thumbs up and a like and a subscribe. I appreciate the time. Thank you.